Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation. In this lecture, we will see what is the necessary and the sufficient condition for the exact differential equation. So myself, Dr. Ghar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So first of all, we, will, we must know about that what is the exact differential equation. As we know that if any of the function f of x, y, which has a continuous partial derivative, then we can write is a differential as that is denoted as a df in terms of the partial derivative here. So based on this continuous, this differential, we can define this exact uh, differential equation. Any differential equation of the first order and the first degree, what is the first order and the first degree is that? In general, you can write like this way also, dy by dx is nothing but f of x, y or it can be written as m upon n. So if you multiply them, you can write like here. When this differential equation is said to be the exact differential equation, when you are able to find a function f such that the derivative of this is nothing but my here. So if you are able to find this function f, then we can call it as the exact differential equation. For example, or you can say uh, like here. For example, do you find any of the function which can be replaced by this of here? You can easily find that this is nothing but my xy. So it means this is my exact differential equation. Similarly for here, if you divide them, this if you divide this term of the y square, then this is a exact differential equation. It can be written like here. So since these two problems are very small, but how you can find the value of this is in this case, this is my f, f of is nothing but x, y and so on. But how you can find the f for problem like here? Do you think that what is the value of this of so that it becomes a zero? you are not easily uh, easily get such kind of the problem. So how you can solve such kind of the problem? For that we need some necessary and the sufficient condition for the differential equation to be the exact. What is that? Uh, any differential equation of the first order and first degree of m dx plus n dy is zero is exact when the partial derivative of the m with respect to y and the partial derivative of n with respect to n are same. How you can prove that? We will see the proof in a very simple proof in this video that is a necessary and the sufficient. So firstly, we assume that this be the exact. So once this be the exact, what is the meaning of that? It means there exists a function f. If it means there is a function f of the x and y such that this can be written of the form of here. So now you can equate the coefficient of the dx on both sides and the dy you can see here. Now since it is a first order and first degree, so it can be, com if it, uh, you can compute the first partial derivative from here, you can compute the partial derivative of the n with respect to x here. Uh, and now as f is my first order partial continuous differentiable, so this and this must be same. So since partial derivative of x with respect to y and partial derivative of y with respect to x are same always, so what is the meaning of that? It means this results hold. That's a necessary condition. Now we can assume reversely. We assume that this is true. Then our target is to prove this be the exact. What is the meaning of that is we, our target is to find the value of the F so that this will be hold. So in order to solve this, how you can try that? So we will try to assume a function V, which is the integration of the N dy. How you can integrate them? You can integrate this keeping x as a constant. Now we need the value of the partial derivative of the x with respect to n and m are here. Now we can uh, differentiate, since this is a function with respect to y, so we can differentiate v with respect to y, we can get here. We can substitute this n value in here. What will happen? We will get this expression. What will happen if you write this expression? We will solve it here. Since v is a differentiable function, so you can write this one. Again, I can write this function to be in the form of this here. Now, how you can solve this one? Now you can, now you can integrate this with respect to the y, keeping x as a constant. So what will happen? This is nothing but my partial derivative of this m. What is that integration of this is nothing but the del v by del x plus this is a constant function. So since in this case it's a function of the x constant, we call it as the phi prime x, where is a constant depending on the x. You can also take an as a c of one x is there. So I consider as a phi dash is a constant. Now we know the value of the m. 
we know the value of the n so we can so what is your target is that we can our target is that we can start from here and try to reach in the form of the df so we can start from here we can substitute the value of the m we can substitute the value of the n in this case so what will happen if you open this bracket and combine the pairs you will get this result what is that this is nothing but my dv total derivative of this plus phi of v can you write this function yes i can write this function as here now you can see this part is nothing but my d of f so if i consider this as my f what will happen if i consider f is there then this part is nothing but m dx plus n dy is here so what is the meaning of that it means by the definition of the exactness this part is my exact and that's the target of our proof so that's a simple proof of the necessary and the sufficient condition for the exactness how we can solve these problems are there we will see in our next class how we can find the examples of this exact differential equation till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students